few moments to allow folks to come into the space. Hello, welcome. Awesome. People are still joining us. That's awesome. All right. Hello, everyone. Perfect. All right. I can see that there are so many people here with us today, which is amazing. Thank you all so much for joining us today to learn more about our Bachelor of Business Technology Management Program. This is an exciting time for everyone, and I sure and I hope that everyone is looking forward to this information session. Um, so I will go ahead and introduce myself. Hello, everyone. My name is Ian Kamara, and I work with recruitment and admissions here at Laurier. And before we get started, I would like to acknowledge that the Lambeau-Ford Laurier University campuses, both in Brantford and Waterloo and Hibbit, was and is created on the ancestral land of the neutral Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee peoples. This open house session is on our Bachelor of Business Technology Management program, and if at any time you have any questions, please feel free to pop them into the Q&A function, where there are some fabulous people on the back end, like myself, looking forward to answering all of the questions you may have. Please do not use the chat function, as these questions will not be moderated. And as the 45 minutes that we will be spending together, I will be looking through the, all the questions that you have. Um, asked, and we'll be going through them during our live Q&A session near the end. Now, I would like to introduce you to Professor Oliver Masakuri. Uh, Tim, who is the manager of Cooperative Education in Brantford. We also have Arjun and Lee joining us, who are current students in the program. And we also have Amina and Hannah joining us, who are recent graduates from the program. So they are the panelists, and they will be taking the lead at explaining the program and what you should be looking forward to here at Laurier. So thank you all so much for taking the time out of your busy schedules to come and share what the Business Technology Management Program is like. So Oliver, I will pass it over to you. All right. uh, thanks, Ian, for the introduction. And uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for taking your time to um, join us to learn more about the BTM program um, at Laurier. So what I'll do in my presentation will just be about five minutes or so, just to give you um, like a bird's eye view of what the program is all about. And then I'll hand it over to, uh, you know, my other uh, colleagues here who are going to provide you with more information on uh, the core program as well as the student experience. Okay. So my, my um, sort of uh, presentation here will be structured in the following way. I'll, I'll just give you a brief background to the program itself the requirements, the program design, uh, the core program. I'll just do a quick run through that, but uh, you'll get more details later. And then I'll talk about, about the career opportunities that are available to BTM program, uh, uh, students. So BTM program is, is a fairly new program. It's a fairly uh, unique degree that combines, uh, you know, the use of ICTs or the use of technology uh, with your standard, um, you know, business uh, knowledge in order to solve uh, real world, uh, you know, uh, problems. So unlike your BBA, which simply focuses on uh, your standard uh, uh, business courses like marketing, finance, accounting, uh, economics, and so on, uh, students in, in BTM uh, do almost 50-50. 50% 50, 50%, um, 50 uh, of uh, their courses are uh, standard business courses, and then 50% of their courses um, have to do with, uh, you know, ICT or uh, computer science related um, um, issues um, and they use those to uh, solve real world business uh, uh, problems. So you'll hear from uh, the panelists here uh, how they've used their um, uh, technology uh, and um, business uh, skills um, in their co-op um, as well as in their current uh, job roles. Okay. So what's unique about the program is that again um, it combines those uh, you know business and your technology. Uh, courses and knowledge to solve real world business solutions. Um, a key component of the program itself as well, which we talk about is the core program. I'll talk about that program in, in a little bit, uh, in a few minutes. So what are the program requirements? So uh, just like any other business program, we require at least 70% English, 70% in advanced calculus, um, in advanced functions or calculus, 
Um, we also require, you know, about 80% or so, uh, 80% and higher in uh, your average top six uh, math, uh, uh, top six uh, grade 12 courses. Some students are worried that they don't have ICT or uh, computer science, co you know, uh, knowledge from high school. Don't worry about that. We don't expect you to bring that knowledge um, in, in, into your first year. What we simply expect you is when you come in, you are ready to, to learn, you are eager to, um, to know um, more about information technology. And, and as the panelists will tell you here, um, most of them didn't know anything about ICT or computer science when they came into the program. But by now, um, you know, they are all uh, experts in, in the use of technology in solving business uh, problems. So don't worry about you not having, um, you know, computer science or IT uh, knowledge in high school. So the business program, as I mentioned, a BTM program is divided into two components. There's one which focuses on technology, and then there's one which focuses on sort of the core business aspects. And then every student is, is also expected to take what we call foundation courses um, at the Brantford campus as well as electives. So I'll just give you, a, you know, a sort of a few of the courses in technology. For example, you'll do uh, systems design and architecture. You are going to do databases. Uh, you're going to do innovation and technology management um, in addition to other, um, to other electives that you may want to take. So the BTM program is very condensed. It's, uh, you know, it's a four-year degree, which is supposed to actually be five years, but we condense it into, into four years, okay? So I'll talk about the core program just briefly. So every student who comes into BTM um, gets automatic entry into co-op. Tim is gonna talk about that in more detail, um, but you get automatic entry into co-op, which allows you um, uh, up to 12 months work, uh, work experience when you uh, graduate. And that gives you a very good head start into the marketplace. Um, so in order to get into the co-op, you need to meet what we call progression requirements, at least a, a B um, from year one, year two, year three, year four. Uh, you need to meet those requirements in order to, um, to progress from, year one to, uh, from one year to the other, but also to get into the co-op, okay? Uh, the co-op provides you with coaching. It provides you with advice on how to apply for jobs and so on. Tim is going to talk about that more in detail. So what are uh, our, our students doing uh, when they graduate? There's a ton of jobs out there. Every business uh, requires somebody who has um, some understanding of how to use technology to solve business problems. As some of the panelists will talk about here, um, they are involved in uh, different roles. So some of the typical jobs you will do, project manager, uh, product manager, market research, project coordinator, data governance, business development, and so on. Our students are, in, you know, are employed in all sectors of the economy. They are involved in, you know, they're employed in public and private sector. Uh, they are you know, employed in manufacturing. Some of the employers are here, RBC, Scotiabank, Deloitte. Um, in manufacturing, you've got John Deere and agriculture. Um, in IT and, uh, and computers, uh, you've got Google. Um, and then in, uh, in insurance, for example, Sun Life. So our students are, um, are in demand in all sectors of the economy. Some of them started their own business, some are in uh, startups and so on, okay? So what I've just done here is to give you a brief overview of the program itself. We'll get more details about uh, the student experience as well as the co-op experience. So I'll hand it over now to Tim, who's going to um, you know, talk about um, yeah, what they do in the co-op office with regards to uh, co-op. Over to you, Tim. That's great. Thanks, Oliver. I'll uh, just get my screen up here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So hopefully everybody can see that. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you can. Okay. That's great. Yep. Awesome. Okay. All right. So everybody, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, my name is Tim Stedman. I'm the uh, co-op manager for the Bradford campus. And uh, I'm here to talk about the, uh, the business technology management program and, uh, and what it's all about in terms of co-op. Uh, so co-op at Laurier is an opportunity for students to gain hands-on practical work experience within their field of study. Um, so uh, so this, this experience is also paid work experience. And the idea will be that uh, uh, you'll, you'll complete at least uh, you know, two work terms, 12 months of experience by the time you graduate, um, you know, which is, uh, which is fantastic, especially if you're looking for a leg up in uh, getting a job after graduation. 
Um, so the, the program itself is small enough so that um, when you're working with the co-op staff, we're, we, we get to know you, we understand exactly what you're actively looking for in your job search, and, um, and we can help you to reach your goals uh, and put together a strategy um, in the best possible way. So, um, so you get a lot of hands-on um, uh, uh, personal uh, interaction with a co-op coordinator and the co-op office uh, when you're in the co-op program. And you complete at least five academic terms before going out on your first work term, which is great because uh, when we talk to organizations, they, they like the fact that students are coming in uh, with a certain amount of seasoning and knowledge um, that they've gained in their academics. And uh, I'll just show you right here what the academic sequence looks like. Uh, so as you can see here, first year is very traditional. So you're just doing um, you know, a fall and a winter semester, then you're off for summer vacation. But then once you get into year two, that's your, your gateway into the co-op program at the beginning of second year. And then you do three straight academic terms. And uh, in third year, so in that 3A term is when you start applying for jobs and you're looking for an eight month work term and that's all with one organization. Uh, so once you've completed that work term, uh, then you come back to school for a 3B semester and you go into recruiting again. And um, you can, you, you'll then be actively looking for a four month opportunity. Um, so, uh, so this is the full year of work experience that, uh, that I was referencing. So uh, a lot of students that are in the program like to, um, you know, spend that eight month work experience, uh, maybe with a, a larger organization, maybe something that will give them an opportunity to, um, uh, to learn from a, a range of different, uh, different departments and organizations like a bank. Um, and then in their second work term, maybe they'll change it up and, uh, and work with a smaller tech startup, um, you know, just to get a good sense as to what both industries, what both um, work experiences have to offer. Um, so, uh, so, but you can really, you know, uh, dictate this in whatever way you see fit. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a competitive process. So you're actively applying for jobs, um, but, uh, but you're directing the, the jobs that you want to apply for uh, uh, based on what we have available on our navigator system and through your personal job search. Um, so the benefits of being in the co-op program, I mean, uh, uh, aside from getting great work experience in your fields and, uh, and getting a, a taste of what business and IT has to offer, um, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's an opportunity for you to gain, you know, hands-on experience uh, in the workplace. So, so you're, you're working in the environment, you're learning from uh, professionals in the industry and, um, and developing a network of of people who may have been in the industry for, for quite a long time and they can help you or provide some advice in, um, in what your future career direction could possibly be. Um, so, and then it also helps to finance your education because you are being paid for the work that you're doing. Um, so here's a breakdown of what students are earning in weekly figures. So as you can see, you know, students in their first work term are earning about an average of about $742 per week. And then once you get into your uh, uh, your second work term, uh, that four month work term that I uh, that I referenced, the uh, the average jumps to about eight hundred and sixteen dollars per week. So, but typically we're seeing salaries anywhere between eighteen and twenty two dollars an hour, I think, on average. But this is really dependent on the organization that you're uh, uh, that you end up getting a job with, the industry as well. You know, big multinationals, crown corporations, they might be paying a little bit more, uh, whereas smaller tech startups might be paying a little bit less, uh, you know, just because they're, they're maybe in that scale up uh, uh, point in the, uh, in the company development and may, maybe don't have the resources to, to be paying a lot of money to students, but the, um, but the experience might be a whole lot uh, meatier. Uh, if you will, where you um, uh, you'll have an opportunity to to really see the impact of your work, uh, you know, on a small, uh, dynamic, uh, rapidly scaling organization. So it really depends on uh, on what it is that you want to do, and um, and what sort of experience you're hoping to get out of the program. Uh, so geographically speaking, this is where uh, the majority of students have been working uh, over the past year. So you'll see, um, you know, that big blue slice of pie there. Um, that's uh, that's within the GTA, and then we've broken it all down to uh, to being in either you know north of Toronto, um, the KW area, which is the technology triangle. That's a natural um, place for BGM students to be working. 
Um, and then uh, uh, we have a smaller slice of pie of students that are working in the Brantford area um, or, uh, or even a, a group of students who are working internationally. But I would say each year consistently, probably about 75% of the jobs that we post are within the GTA. And, um, you know, depending on who you talk to, uh, the GTA could extend from Oshawa all the way down to Burlington and all the way out to Milton. So that's a pretty big area, but then also a massive population uh, center with a lot of great organizations that are looking to, uh, to recruit uh, students in the business technology management program. So, um, so that's something that you can expect once you get into recruiting. Uh, so moving on to some realities. Uh, so there is a financial commitment to being in the co-op program, uh, and this is in the form of co-op fees. Uh, these fees are currently assessed at about $759 per academic term, and VTM co-op students make that payment four times. So once you're admitted into the program in the fall, at the beginning of second year, you'll make a payment. Uh, there's another payment in the winter, then another one in the spring. And then when you're out for your eight month work term, you're not making any co-op fee payments at that point. You're actually earning money at that time while you're on work term. But then once you come back for your uh, your 3B academic semester, you make your fourth and final payment then. Um, so it is important to uh, for you to be aware that there are co-op fees uh, associated with being in the program. Uh, there also is the possibility of relocation. Uh, you know, I tell students all the time, I'm the best opportunities are not always going to be in your backyard. So, you know, be willing to up and relocate if you need to for that great opportunity. Um, if, uh, uh, you know, something happens to present itself in Ottawa, I mean, go for it. Why not? Uh, you know, you may be tied into a 12 month lease in, in Brantford, but there may be an opportunity for you to sublet that place for that eight month work term and, um, you know, move over for that great um, work experience that uh, that you might not have been you know thinking of considering uh, before you uh, before you actually saw it on our on our navigator system. Uh, there also is no guarantee of employment. Uh, I mean, this is a competitive process. Students are you know preparing their resumes, their cover letters, their interview skills. They're they're doing all of that prep, all leading up to recruiting, and um, and then they're applying those. Um, uh, those skills that they've learned to when they're applying for jobs. And then employers are choosing who they want to interview and who they want to make job offers to. Uh, so we can't guarantee that every student in the program is going to get a job. However, last you know couple of years, uh, even during the pandemic, we've had a, an employment rate that's, uh, you know, if it hasn't been close to 100%, it's been 100%. Um, so uh, so the, the likelihood of a BTM student in the program who is working hard to try to secure? It's, there's a very, very strong chance that um, uh, that they will secure. So, um, uh, so certainly be willing to put the work in, and um, and you'll you'll see that good things will come out of that hard work. Um, for uh, for any students who are you know active in extracurricular activities, um, you know there is an increased workload uh, if, to being in co-op. So. Um, you know, at certain points of the year, like in May, for instance, uh, I mean, you've got a full-time course load. Uh, you're also actively applying for jobs. Uh, so you're, you're spending time prepping your cover letter and, and fine-tuning your resume and doing some research on the organization, getting prepped for that interview. Um, so, so any extracurriculars that you're active in during that time period may be restricted just because you, you know, you've got other priorities that you're balancing right now. So, um, uh, so it's important to be cognizant of that as well. So uh, here's a list of some of the organizations that uh, current BTM students are working at. So uh, you'll recognize, you know, a lot of the organizations listed here, like Nissan and Ecobee and BlackBerry, BDO, um, you know, smaller organizations like Blue Link or Linksys, um, you know, and then mid-size organizations like TransUnion. Um, so, but uh, this is just a snapshot of where, you know, students are working right now. Um, and this list changes every year as well. So if there's an organization that, or an industry that you're not seeing represented on this list, don't worry. Like, um, you know, when you, when you come into the program and you, you meet with me and we talk about, you know, your strategy and what it is that you're hoping to get out of the program, that's just an opportunity for us to go out and reach out to a bunch of organizations that, uh, that might be in that industry that you're targeting and, um, and we can create some opportunities on your behalf. So, um, 
So yeah, I think it's a, um, uh, this is a great snapshot of organizations that we're working with currently, um, you know, that have BTM students working with them. Um, so there's my contact information if you wanted to, uh, to reach out, uh, but uh, I'm going to turn it over to, uh, to our, our students to, to talk about their experience in the program, um, uh, but, uh, but I'm happy to stick around for questions afterwards as well. All right. Thanks very much, guys. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Tim. I was to uh, take things off with um, a student perspective. So my name is Arjun, a current fourth year BTM student. I worked in consulting for my first co-op term for eight months at, at Blue Link. Also worked in cybersecurity at Sun Life um, for my four month. Um, Extracurricular wise, I was a part of the BTM Student Association, which kind of think of it as your, your student activity council that you have in high school, which hosts a different event for students. So I was a first year rep, second year rep, uh, vice president, and then I also sat on the um, the Lazar Regis board as a student um uh, the student um, representative to vote on different curricular changes and stuff like that. I also just came off of two international case competitions with Laurier's uh, travel team. And I'm also currently a, a BTM mentor, also working at the co-op office to help with mock interviews to give back to students and also a current TA for a first and second year courses. So if any questions about academic or extracurricular activities, um, either one of our panelists will be more than happy to, um, to, to answer it. So I'll pass it off to Lee, who's also a, another fourth year BTM student. Thank you, Arjun. Hi, everyone. My name is Lee. I am an international student in the BTM program, and I'm currently in the fourth year as well. Uh, in my first co-op term, I uh, joined in the community tech, which is a technical organization uh, founded by the Laurie graduates and University of Waterloo graduates. And I work as a digital marketing coordinator uh, and help to uh, real business in Toronto to uh, transfer their business into online uh, digital marketing campaigns and use some technical skills like SEOs, Google Analytics and Google Ads and to help them. And in my second co-op term, I worked as a marketing assistant in another a robot company called clear path and I work as uh, the marketing assistant for my manager and organize the inbound marketing campaign and to do some research about the outbound leads for the company and I learned uh, pretty much uh, marketing things and digital marketing strategies uh, account-based marketing strategies um, those strategies are very popular and completely new uh, which is what I haven't learned from my textbook or program studies. And in my final uh, co-op term, I work as a, a revenue operation analyst in a IT consulting company. Uh, it is a very young, but uh, fast growing uh, company in New York City. And I help my manager to do a lot of dashboard and reports for the sales team and marketing team to know about their data, uh, visualize those data for the CRO to help them to like uh, organize a sales meeting, to schedule the pipeline and to say the close years every week, every month. And, and currently I am a team member for the Laurie Brentford ambassador team. And I'm also doing the part-time in my previous co-op company, the IT consulting as a revenue operation analyst. Uh, if you have any questions about the program study, uh, international student part-time work or full-time work uh, on campus or off campus, uh, feel free to drop your questions. Then I will pass um, it to uh, someone who are willing to share their um, career path. Uh, I can go first if that's okay, Hannah. Okay, yeah, so hi everyone. My name is Amina and I graduated from the BTM program last year in August. Um, the program is really, really valuable in the current job market because like as Dr. Masakiri mentioned, not only does it cover the business and technology aspects, but it also goes the extra mile to teach us how to use technology and IT to come up with solutions to all sorts of business problems. Um, aside from that, one of my favorite things about co-op, or sorry, BTM has to be the co-op program. 
Um, you graduate with a total of one year of experience and considering how competitive the current job market is, this really sets you apart from other um, candidates when applying to full-time roles. For both of my co-op roles, I worked at RBC within two different lines of businesses. So for my first co-op, I worked as a um, business analyst within technology and operations. And then for my second one, I worked as a project manager within personal and commercial banking. Um, both of these co-ops equip me with really, really valuable skills. And once I combined them with everything that I learned at school, I was able to secure a full-time role five months before I graduated. And since graduation, I've been working at Sun Life Financial as an associate business systems analyst. Um, I'm working in the Sun Life Capital Management IT team. Um, I really love my job because I'm constantly learning new things and coming up with ways to bridge um, the gaps between business and IT. And this is something that BTM really, really prepared me really well for. Um, but yeah, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys might have. And I can also, like, I'd be happy to connect on LinkedIn as well. Um, but yeah, good luck to you grade 12 supplying. I'll pass it over to Hannah. Thanks, Samana. So hi, everyone. My name is Hannah. And I, like Amina, recently graduated from BTM in August 2021. Um, so fairly recently. Um, and I definitely agree with everything Amina has said. I love every aspect of the program, the co-op program, and also just being on the Brantford campus as well. Um, specifically for me, one of my favorite things was always the small class size. I always loved um, being able to connect with professors and your peers in a more personal level. Um, so a little bit about myself. Um, while I was in the program, I was involved in a lot of things on campus. So um, some of these include being the BTM Learning Cluster Advisor in my second year. So I was actually part of the um, cluster in my first year and loved it so much that I decided I wanted to help lead it in my second year. Um, I also worked as a customer experience associate at the bookstore, a communications assistant at the writing center. Um, and then I was also part of a lot of different clubs on campus. So her campus, Laurier Brantford, um, Laurier Students for Literacy, um, as well as Icebreaking during Orientation Week. Uh, and then for my co-op experiences, um, my goal for co-op was really to learn about project management in different aspects. So um, both of my roles were in project management as a project coordinator. The first one was at CIBC in technology operations. So there I got to manage and lead projects and work with third party vendors to create more efficient banking centers. And then my second co-op, I was a project coordinator at Wisdom AI. So they worked with conversational AI products and services. Um, and this was also a startup. So because of that, I also got to work in different areas where they needed me. So I worked mainly in project management, but I also got to get a taste of analytical work as well as sales. And so these co-op experiences really let me learn more about how project management is so different in um, different industries and environments. Um, and also I got to have different perspectives in one I was the vendor and the other I was the client. Um, and now I'm currently working at Oracle NetSuite as a functional ERP consultant. So um, now I'm helping businesses implement NetSuite onto their um, business systems. Um, and so this includes things like data migration, system configurations, UAT, and um, just being client facing. So attending all of those regular client meetings. Um, and I'm actually just wrapping up a very intense 11 week training program. So we just had our big showcase competition where we got to identify a non-native business need for NetSuite. And then we had to go ahead and configure the system based on our solution. So um, actually it was the judges pick as the winner. So that was super fun and exciting. Um, and now I'm super excited to start working with customers and applying all of that knowledge that I've learned during training. Um, so yeah, feel free to ask any questions to all of us today about campus involvement, co-op experiences, um, and for Amina and I, life after BTM. Wow. <laughs> Thank you all so much for all that information. Um, so there are a few questions that have come in through the Q&A. So, um, 
in the next 15 minutes, we will try and work through all of them. Um, the first one is mostly directed towards Tim. Um, this uh, person is wondering if every student in the program uh, gets a co-op placement or if it's a selected type of uh, student or if it's like direct entry or do you have any thoughts on that? Um, well, I mean, last year we had 100% employment and that was for, for everybody in the program. So, um, you know, in the, in the 10 years I've been with the BTM program, I mean, we've never had an employment rate less than 95%. So, um, you know, it, I think the, uh, as I mentioned in, in my, in one of my slides, um, you know, if you're, if you're applying the, um, the, the right kind of things that we're, that we're showing you in the co-op fundamentals workshops that are, are required uh, for all students in the co-op program. But I mean, in BTM, we've got eight months to be working on a resume and a cover letter and job search techniques and interview skills. And we've got um, practice interviews with our, um, with our fourth year BTM students who just come off their last work term. Um, you know, so there's a, a high degree of, of mentorship that, that goes along with that. Um, you know, if, if, if students are applying that and, and are, are liaising with the co-op office and, you know, letting us know that, that, um, that they're active and dedicated and actively applying for jobs and, um, you know, then, then good things are going to happen, right? Like, uh, you know, we, we continue to work with everybody until, um, they get a job like, and then sometimes that takes until, you know, early to mid September, uh, in some cases, but we keep on working away on it. And, and especially over the last three years, um, we've had more jobs posted than we've got students. So, so it's been, it's been a really great labor market out there for co-op students too. Um, but we can't guarantee that, that, uh, you know, everybody in the program is going to get a job. Um, you know, you've got as a student in the program, you've got to put the work in and, and recognize that it is hard to get a job. Um, but if you're if you're putting the work in, all of the supports are going to be in place to put you in the best position to be successful. Thank you. Um, also, I know that I know that in some other programs, if you choose to do the co-op, your years at Lore are extended by the certain amount of time that you do your co-op. Is that the same case for the business technology management program or is it all condensed in your four years at Laurier? Well, so it's all it's all condensed. So it's it's a four-year program. So the um and and the way that we do that is is we offer summer academic terms. So um so that's the the way that we've set it up. So so students are able to uh, to get 12 months of work experience in two different work terms, one eight month, one four month, uh, but complete their degrees in four years. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and is there anything, this can go out to the whole panel, but um, would you, is there anything that you would recommend someone doing in order to stand out to potential employers? I think as a BTM student, you stick out already. You know, not only do you do you understand the tech aspect of, of anything, but you understand the business implications that come with it. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, I interviewed with Deloitte um, for a new, a new grad role. And what they really appreciate is that not only can you apply your, your tech knowledge to what they're facing, but you also understand the underlying business um, implications of it too. And then I think, you know, my colleagues can can echo that, that that already sets you apart. Um, other things like Tim mentioned, you know, getting involved in the, with the co-op program, Program, coming to mock interviews, um, Tim and all the other co-op um, uh, people there are really have an open door policy, going in, asking questions, getting help when you need to, asking your colleagues for help. Um, those are just some small things you could do, um, but really just your program itself really sets your part in the job market. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Um, another uh, question for, I guess, Arjun and Lee, um, are you able to explain what your first year was like, what your classes were like, what your class sizes were like, um, and just what your general experience in your first year was? 
Yeah, so I think in first year we had about a hundred and nine or ten hundred ten students about that about that much. Um, it may seem overwhelming. I know I grew up in a in a very small town, went to a very small high school, so it was pretty overwhelming at first. But as you get to go through the program, you realize how close you are with your professor. So, for example, Dr. Masakiri, for example, who taught us economics in first year, um, I sent him an email. I think on a weekend, he got back to me within that within that afternoon, within the hour, um, saying, you know, if you need any help, just go to his office and just and you can just go asking for help. So um, if you want to know about courses, you'll take things like business and network society, um, microeconomics, introduction to IT, introduction to strategy management, um, just some and very overall courses, um, very uh, business core or very general courses. And then as you progress throughout your years, you get more specific like software development, tech innovation management, project management, and um, and things like that. Um, in terms of non-academic, I got involved within the, the Business Tech Management Student Association um, as a first year rep, getting to know your students more, getting to know upper students like Amina and Hannah, um, who can really advise you on how to, on how to progress uh, throughout, throughout BTM. Um, Lee, do you have anything else um, about first year you want to add on? Yeah, I agree with your experience. I remember the first class in my uh, first year is the microeconomics uh, in the RCW building 202. It's a classroom and that class is taught by the professor uh, Masakura. And I saw a lot of people in the lecture and I feel like a little bit nervous. But then I found like there are many good projects in the first year, like business analysis, case analysis, and uh, lab group work. The relevant group projects or a group work makes uh, students feel gathered. And we try to get familiar with each other and chat with each other. So in BTM, I really knew, uh, meet a lot of friends and classmates. They're very uh, good at homework and team projects. So I very uh, I feel excited to join the BTM in the first year, and then to the second year, I found there are many uh, uh, opportunities for BTM students. We have a, a BTM alumni every March or every April, so we can chat with senior uh, BTM students and to learn about their co-op experience um, and their um, some classes uh, schedules. Uh, so I found those resources are very helpful and valuable for BTM students. Perfect, thank you. Um, I have a question relating to the program. Um, I was just wondering like during co-op, what are some companies that folks could look forward to working with? Um, boy, I mean, it, you know, like the list changes every year and it really depends on um, who happens to be actively recruiting at that time. But I mean, one thing that we've been noticing, you know, over the past three years is that, you know, a lot of a lot of organizations are starting to get into the mix in, in hiring co-op students, um, you know, whether it be because they, they just see the value in um, in bringing in top talent and this is a great opportunity to do that um, before um, students graduate and then they're free agents out in the field um, but I mean the banks are a huge supporter of, of recruiting BTM students um, I think currently uh, CIBC holds the the blue ribbon right now for for how many students they recruit but uh, but RBC, TD, BMO, Scotia, they all recruit. Um, Manulife, Sun Life, I mean, they've they've all been aggressive recruiters of BTM students. Um, you know, there's there's lots of uh, smaller organizations that are that are startups that um, that are getting into the mix, especially in the Waterloo region, like around the Communitech. Um, area there that uh, that are recruiting. So, but I mean, we we're we're always recruiting. We're always talking to organizations and marketing the program and trying to um, promote the the Laurier brand and the co-op programs that we have to offer. Um, and BTM seems to be the one that um, you know when when we mention it, their ears perk up and they say, "Oh, uh, like." we wish we would have had somebody in to work on this particular project because, you know, 
you know, it took us a lot longer to actually get it complete without that level of expertise. Um, so, uh, so, so we have those conversations all the time um, with organizations, and then they they usually submit a posting shortly after that. You know, when uh, when the recruiting cycle comes to BTM students. So, um, so I think every year it it changes. Um, you know, I. Uh, I don't want to be wishy-washy about answering that question, but uh, 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 hopefully that gives some insight. No, it does for sure. And I know it was a sort of a difficult question to ask and answer, um, but thank you. Um, so I just have one final question before we end the session. Um, it is for Arjun, Lee, Amina, and Hannah. If you had one piece of advice for these incoming students, uh, what would it be? Yeah, I think um, for me, you know, growing up in a, in a small town, small high school, coming to university, you're a, I felt like a small fish in a big ocean of sharks, right? So um, you're definitely, um, it's going to be nerve wracking for you. I don't know, I felt the same way, but knowing that you have support people like your professors, your students and other facilities like, like, um, like mentors and stuff like that, you're really not alone. There's always someone there who who might be going through the same thing, like your like your classmates, and you can always go out and talk to them. Like all the students can echo, you are in small class sizes. You'll get to know everyone, including your professors. So uh, really take advantage of them and don't sell yourself short. You can you'll surprise yourself. I know I surprised myself and how much I can get involved and how much I can do academically. So give yourself a chance, and I'm sure you won't regret it. And for me, I want to say uh, uh, manage your time effectively because in your first year, everything is completely new and exciting for you guys. You, it is easy to uh, find any activities, student clubs or volunteer uh, part-time job to fill your time schedule, but you also have to balance your study and also the part-time work or your um, playtime. So uh, try to develop your uh, time management skills and uh, size any opportunities to develop your personal skills on the part-time job or the volunteer experience to reach out uh, new, per new people as much as many as you can and to uh, have a clear schedule on your next year or your uh, future plan for graduation or work. Uh, I know it's Maybe you're too early to think about it in your first year, but um, in BTM, uh, time is valuable. So try to size your opportunity and time. And that was awesome. Um, for me, I would say, and I know that it's much easier said than done, but try to step out of your comfort zone as much as possible. Because for for example, in my first year, I was I was pretty much like a cocoon. I was just going to my classes, not doing much else outside of classes, and just um so but then second year me and Hannah actually ended up getting involved in a bunch of different clubs I ended up starting my own club and then as but by the time that co-op applications came around I had so much experience to put in there um along with my studies that it was it all just kind of came together to um set me apart really well so I would just say as much as you can try to find something that you um that you would be interested in get involved in campus and um I guess treat university as more of like a like a safe space where you can make mistakes, but you'll have the resources to um to handle that and you'll have people to fall back on, like your professors. Um, I know it's been said multiple times, but in BTM, your professors really, really do care. Um, you can reach out to them about anything, anytime, and they will be willing to help you. Um, yeah, I think that's all for me. Yeah, I love that. And my biggest piece of advice is really to reach out to anyone. Um, our professors, I know we've echoed this so many times, but it like, like Amina said, it's so true. They always are so willing to help us, whether it's just showing up at office hours and asking them a quick question or showing up and, you know, talking about what's going on in your personal life. A lot of them love to listen and to be able to help you through all of those changes that you experience in your first year. And then reach out to your peers. You're all kind of dealing with the same thing in first year. You all might be struggling. You all might be um, 
you know, learning the same thing. So reach out to the person next to you, like me and Amina, we would sit together all the time in classes. Um, if we had any questions, we wouldn't be afraid to ask each other um, because we knew we could trust each other to, you know, encourage and support each other. Um, and everyone in BTM is so supportive of you, um, whether it be in your class or an upper year student, um, you can always feel free to reach out to those in the class above you, um, two classes above you, alumni, everyone wants to help you at any point. Um, so make sure you're making those connections and speaking to people because everyone's always willing to help. You just have to make that first step and reach out to begin with. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, so I just want to conclude everything with a huge thank you. Thank you all so much for coming and taking the time out of your busy schedules uh, to come and talk about the business technology management program. Um, if any, um, if anyone would want to stay connected, uh, please join our discord where you're able to talk with current Laurie students and other students who are in the same position as you. I hope you all enjoy the rest of the events that are being put on for you today. And I hope to see you all on campus one day. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you.